Good morning, everyone. So we got to wake up in uh, Marco Island this morning. Now we're kind of heading up into Naples. We're gonna check out some shopping. Uh, we're going to a car museum. That'll be fun. Because everyone thinks Naples is super wealthy, which it is. Yeah, it's a lot of money here. In fact, it's supposed to have um, some most money in the United States, or at least back in the day, this was the spot that had the most money. Um, but surprisingly, I saw on the internet recently that it's a very affordable place to live. The cost of living isn't, isn't bad. Yeah. And the reason it's that is because you've got um, like Port Royal, you know, uh, some of these some of these communities on the water. Like Port Royal is known for not having anything until you get into the Gulf. So you're not restricted by any waterways or bridges in terms of your size of your boat. The only thing that, that limits you on the size of your boat is the, the um, water frontage you have. Wow. So if you have 100 feet, you can have a 100 feet boat. So there's a lot of people that love their yachts in Naples, which we hope to get a few photos of. Uh, yeah. Right now we're at Tin City, which is a marina, and it kind of has this cool old Florida shopping vibe, and it's got some restaurants and different places. You know, I've got some friends still up in the Fort Myers, Sanibel area. And back in the day we did it and they're still doing it now. They'll take a day trip down to Naples to hit the shopping and get a great meal and just for the just for yeah, the change a, up. It it's takes a an hour, nice it area. takes an hour to pop down here. And then you have yeah. like world class shopping. Yeah. Like they have they have stuff here that you know you can't necessarily get in Fort Myers or, or other places in terms of shopping. And there are lots of 55 plus communities in between Fort Myers and Naples. Mm -hmm. So you got some options down this neck of the woods. This is cool, I love this. This would be a great place to come hang out. All right, here we go into the car. Is it a car museum? Yeah, oh, yeah, this like is just auto technology. Oh, this looks like it's going to be super cool. And she's, we, so, she's such a liar. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> she's so full of it. <laughs> she can care less. She's on her phone the whole time. You're so full of it. It was really cool. If you're a car enthusiast, the you cars they have in there are incredible. What was the fun part was there was a lot of volunteers, or maybe they got paid in there, that knew everything about the cars. And so that was very interesting because yeah. they told us some cool tidbits about different lady racers and things like that. So I mean, it, yeah, well, it they was have like fun. like cars in there that are one of four. You know, <laughs> two other people have one and one's missing. All sorts of cool stories, cars that won, you know, races throughout years. And I mean, it, that was if you're into cars, hundred percent. Naples, although a sought-after retirement area in Florida only has seven dedicated 55 plus communities. Most communities are natural 55 plus without age restrictions. There are also tons of beachside condo options. Monroe County has the highest median home prices in all of Florida, but it has a very low property tax. Only 0.69%, which makes it a very affordable place to live. There are some opportunities to buy homes in the 200,000s, but most 55 plus communities in Naples will start closer to the 400,000s, going into the millions. Joanne's Blue Crab Cafe. Totally happy to be here. Ask it. What'd you get, Justin? Gator. Gator. Down to Georgia, he was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. When he came across this young man, so and the devil jumped up on the hickory stumps and boy, let me tell you what. I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. All right, so this is super fun. We're on Alligator Alley, which is 41 that goes across from southwest Florida to southeast Florida. 
we stopped at Joanne's for Gator Bites. Justin tried those. And we ran into Dick and his grandkids. And these guys actually live, Dick lives in Pelican Preserve in Fort Myers. Yes. So we said, hey, we be on video. <laughs> <laughs> and he obliged us. Dick, you moved from Atlanta. He lived in a 55 plus in Atlanta down to Pelican Preserve. What drew you to Fort Myers? So uh, before we retired, we originally had a place in Bonita Springs, uh, but it was a condo and uh, uh, my wife's mother moved in with us, so we needed a bigger place. Yes. So we built and uh, we looked around uh, at a lot of places uh, in the Fort Myers, Bonita Springs area. We found uh, Pelican Preserve because of all the amenities they've got there, uh, really active community. It's, it's a very good tennis community, golf. Uh, we have a restaurant there. We have an amphitheater, uh, and that's where they hold the concerts. And, you know, so the, the cover bands come in, and, you know, we have some great, you know, concerts for next to nothing money and yes. have a couple beers and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, uh, and you so. mentioned there was 2,500 homes. That's a decent 2,500 size. doors. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, when you say that, what do you mean? Uh, so, yeah, we have, we uh -huh. have uh, uh, some four stories condos. We have some two-story condos, and probably, I'm gonna guess, 60% of our homes uh, are single family. Okay. Uh, and then the balance being uh, condos out of that 2,500. So, yeah, that, so that's kind of unique, because up in, the, in our neck of the woods, which is Central Florida, we don't really have condos available. Yeah, we so that's oh, okay. Good. Yeah. We, we, okay, so I got, a, I got a question. Yes. Do you guys, do you guys enjoy visiting? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys use the amenities? What? In this community. Oh, like the pool, pool oh, yeah. tennis court. Yeah. Except we have a pool in the backyard. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> do you have a golf cart? Yeah. Do you, a golf cart. do you guys get to drive the golf cart? Uh, um, I'm going to drive later today. Maybe. Right. <laughs> What's your favorite part about the Fort Myers area? So it, it's, it, you know, it's a very laid back kind of community. You know, it's it's got good health care. Um, you know, good churches. Uh, it, it, it's just a comfortable community to live in. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so Thank much. Thank you so much, Dick. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We'll be safe on your trip. So, uh, waiting out the storm, huh? Got to wait out the storm, otherwise we'll get soaking wet. We got camera equipment. It's not a bad place to be hanging, though. We played, found a mountain, run, boys, run. Devil's in the house of the rising sun. Chicken in the bread pan, I'm picking out dough. Granted, we don't fight no child, no. We made it to the East Coast. We're in Miami. After cutting, after my mom cut a few people off on the way in, we beat some uh, some craziness. Parked. We're in the Brickell City Center. Um, you have to drive like the folks where you're at, right? That's all I was doing. I think she's kind of a beast. <laughs> she's a beast. Anyway, Miami. I, she is... started speaking Spanish, flipping people off. It was insane. <laughs> Miami's really kind of exciting and eclectic, and, and it's got, in fact, Fort Lauderdale, too. It's known for its diversity. There's quite a lot of different languages spoken here, mm. and it's just a cool vibe. Obviously not necessarily, there's not a ton of 55 plus communities in Miami, there's a few condos, but this is kind of the benefit of being uh, Southeast Florida at the end of the day, is you're gonna just have kind of easier access to a lot of this, this stuff, right? I, I like saw... we're gonna head up to Boynton Beach where there's a ton of 55 plus communities and you can easily travel down south, you can head up north, so that's gonna be sort of the appeal. Yeah, you can get to the Keys really easily. I went to see, I came here and saw Paul McCartney 11 years ago for my 50th birthday. But then they've got, of course, big sports and all of that stuff. But yeah. uh, very cool. Yeah, Can't wait till you see the photos, the videos. <laughs> my life, my life, my life, my life in the sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine Everybody loves the sunshine Sunshine Alright, so we're heading north into Fort Lauderdale Getting out of the Miami Check the traffic out
Yep. It's a little bananas. Touchdown in Fort Lauderdale. We're <laughs> at uh, the Taylor Birch State Park. All right, let's get a little. Uh, let's get a little test here. We should have brought some sand from the East Coast. Oh, it's completely. I mean different. the West Coast. Not as like. Not as like. Uh, what would you say? <laughs> That was nice. Folks get down in the sunshine. Ooh, ooh. Nice part about this area of Florida is the water gets very clear because of the Gulf Stream coming through, and so this, there's great scuba diving just off the coast between here and West Palm. So we have literally um, gotten a lot of emails and calls from people that want to scuba and that's one of their things. Anyway, lots of 55 plus options in Boynton Beach, Delray, Port St. Lucie, and on up. Let me ask you guys a question, seriously. If any of you live in these communities, let us know why you moved to them, opposed to another place in Florida. Was it because maybe you had family down here? You'd been here before? What's your reasoning? I think uh, people that are interested in checking these places out would absolutely love to see that dialogue down there. You know, get an idea of like, For what, of yeah, what's, why do you choose an area over another one? Love that. And That's this is, we're gonna, we're gonna be honest here too. We, this is like semi new territory for us. Like we've been down here a couple times, but it's like, we've got experts that know these areas, but us, yeah, I mean, we're the, over here. The last time I was down here, I was in my, late 20s, early 30s, scuba diving off this coast, and it was phenomenal. I do have to give it to the beaches over on the Gulf. It's sandy. Had a better it's feel. More, Cleaner. Yeah, clear water, had, it was white, sugary sand. White, this sugary is, sand, a little heavier. more coarse. It definitely seems just kind of the, what you, what you gather while you're here is there's definitely like a busyness. Where the Gulf Coast felt a little bit more laid back, there's definitely like more traffic and just more busyness, right? Would you agree? Well, you got all those high rises with all those people in it and they all have cars. Yeah, that's true. The transit, we're living in a 3D world and our transit system is 2D, right? That one went over her head, I think. Hey mom, did you, say, did you hear what I said? I don't understand what that means. That's why I left it alone. <laughs> I could tell by the way you looked away. You tried to act like you couldn't hear me <laughs> to get away with it. <laughs> the majority of 55 plus communities in Southeast Florida are in Palm Beach, just north of Fort Lauderdale. With over 100 communities to choose from, there is an option that will fit your lifestyle. Prices range from low 200,000s to well over $1 million. The closer to the beach, the more expensive your options get on average. There she goes again. They were good. We're downtown Delray. We just ate at Dada? Data? Dada. Dada. Really Very good food. Good. Oh Exceptional my gosh, food. So good. Really good um, craft cocktails. What, what do you want to know? We What's have your name? A YouTube channel. Stanley. Jay. There we go. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Nikki. And so you live, You said you live in the area. I live close. I live adjacent, uh, Boynton Beach. Oh, yeah, Boynton Beach. Headed. Yeah. Cool. This is, I always quote, is uh, an adult amusement park. Okay. That's a good way to describe it. Nice. nice. So it's an adult. Is it an active adult, like us 55 plus or it happy? It's on the days of the week, the weather, the age group, and what's going on. Happy hours, one event, and all the kids come out. All the parents are dropping them off in minivans. <laughs> then they let them all, you know, out. I wouldn't let my children dress like that, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. But yeah, it's a fun place. You can always tell when it's the locals or when it's tourists. Are we right tourists now, or locals? This is locals, because. The tourists don't come now, it's too hot summertime. Mm. So that's why it's empty. Oh, so this, this is not busy. Is empty? No, nah, this is empty. Oh. Busy that's is when there's full of people walking up and down at this hour. <laughs> what's and your I'm, what's your favorite spot here? If you had to give one a shout out. Only one though. I got I got three. One okay. I haven't been to lately. Breaking like, the rules, but go ahead. <laughs> 
Tremontes. Tremontes. City Oyster. Mm. Wine Room. Okay. And then my fourth one is Cut. Cut? Okay. 432 across the street. So have you lived here a long time? Five years. Did you? Five years. Six years. Six years. Okay, so that's, that's kind of new because six years goes like that. Yeah. Where'd you move from? New York, where everybody else comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I got friends from Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island. They all are coming. Yeah, thanks for chatting with us. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Nice meeting everybody. For nice sure. meeting you. I'm pleasure. sorry I didn't Justin. have my card. It's a pleasure, Stanley. Thank Justin. you, sir. Enjoy. See ya. <laughs> yeah. What, let's, sum up, let's sum up today really quick. So I think at the end of the day, the southeast portion of Florida, Obviously your communities are sort of tucked off of this. You can get in 55 plus communities closer to the beach. They're gonna go way up in price. You know, you're looking at $800,000 in some of them. But you can be kind of 30 minutes away from all of this in a community that's a little bit out of the hustle and bustle. It's a little bit more laid back, but you can easily make it to, you know, lively downtown, Delray Beach. Dinners, you can make it to, you can go surfing, you can make it to, to Fort Lauderdale, you can make it to Miami. In terms of your lifestyle, your surrounding area, mm -hmm. what you want to have in your backyard, what sort of lifestyle you want to have, and then at the end of the day, we can find you a community and that lifestyle. A hundred percent. hundred percent. And when you come to Florida, you literally have access to all of this. So you can come here and do this for a weekend, but you can go back to, you know, the Sleepy East Coast. Sleepy Claremont. Sleepy Claremont, where it's quiet during yeah. night. It's, there's nothing happening. There's, but you wake up in the morning and there's fog that, that comes off the top of the lake and you can go fishing in the middle of that. And it's like this incredible experience. Or, go ahead. This, just, is, this is a good band. We're sitting here talking. It is. We're going to let you guys go. Hey, if you want to get connected with someone that specializes in the 55 plus communities, what do you do? What are you, you supposed to do? You reach out to us. No, you visit explore55plus.com or you reach out to us. Yeah. You've got options. Text us. Call us. You can email us. Or just go just type in www.explore55plus.com. We'll help you out.